I want to install vcard sas that's business card builder sas that have a vcard sas that's nfc card with mobile app script so for this script installation i will be using codeless to download the script now please don't forget codeless is only meant for testing purposes so let me go straight to codeless.cc codeless the cc enter as I said earlier, please don't forget it's only meant for testing purposes. Please use this in the description to purchase scripts. Then next, I click on the search button to, click, to look for the script I'm looking for, which is vcard. Then enter. Next, I'm going to click on this because that's the script I want to download. I then move to down to select any of the link to download the script. Let me use this link. I copy, open a new tab, then paste it there. Enter. Then I click on download to download the script, but I have already downloaded the script before. So let me just go straight to my computer, download, so here is the script and I extract it, here is the extracted file, here is the extracted file, so let me open it, let me open it again, then so here is the script I'm sending to my C panel, but I've extracted it. Here is it. So the actual one I'm supposed to send is this. This. So I'll send this to my C panel. So let me go straight to my C panel. Here is my C panel. So I will go to File Manager. Then to my subdomain folder, because I'm using subdomain for this testing purposes, so I will go to this method subdomain. Next, I extract it. As you can see, I have already uploaded this script. That's the dist. That's it. I've already uploaded it. Dist. Then next, I uh, extract it. I right click, extract, extract files. So the files has been extracted. I close it. So here is the extracted file. I open it. I select all. Then move to the root folder. Move files. Then I move up one level. Now I have uploaded my script into my file manager. The next thing for me to do is to create a database. So let me go to my database from my cPanel to my database. So let me scroll down. There's my database, my SQL databases. Then I create my database. Let me name it as T U S E T. Then create database. Okay, successful. I click on go back. Next is for me to create the user after creating the database. So let me create the user. Let me name the user as like this for each user so successful I will go back I have created the database and user next I will add the user to the database So I will make sure I select 
the these are just created i'll make sure i select the database i just created then add next i give up the villages then move down to make changes successful i go back so what next for me to do is to go to my php my admin php my admin i then select the database i just created which is this then i import the sql import i click on import choose file So here is the SQL, I select it, then I click on open. I move down to, I move down, then import. Now the SQL has imported successfully. So after that, I go back to my file manager. So my .env, I am going to edit it. Edit. Edit. Then here I change my database name, username, and password to the one I created in the cPanel. So let me go to, let me move down. I want to copy the username. I copy the username. Copy. Back to my dot env. Database name. So the database name is this. So look at that my database name. Then I continue. Now I cannot save it. Okay, it has been saved. Let me save again to confirm. Now, so I cannot close it now. I've done all what is expected of me. So let me now go to the, my site, my subdomain. Press set, enter. As you can see, I have successfully installed the script. I have successfully installed the script. So from here you can go to anywhere you want, writing a plan, speak, call, view more, anywhere you want to go. From here. Um about writing contact language. So please like, share and subscribe to my videos. And if this video is helpful, please use the link in the description to buy me coffee. Thanks.